Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Oh, it's so nice to meet you nice again. Nice to meet you again. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful. Welcome here. to our house. Yeah, it's uh, my first time to be here. Yeah, wow. Oh, it's just like an art exhibition. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is my friend Wing that Hello. will accompany Hello. you today. Nice to meet you, Vivian. Nice Mr. Palik Lewy, Consul General of Israel in Guangzhou, loves art very much. In his home, there were over 30 pieces of art connections, many of which were created by local artists and collected after he took office in Guangzhou in 2019. He's been vigorously promoting cooperation between China and Israel in various fields, especially artistic and cultural exchanges. At the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak, he launched a special online exhibition with Fei Arts, an art museum located in Guangzhou, themed on Home is an Art Museum, allowing those trapped at home due to the pandemic to express their feelings through art. He told me that the reason he likes art is that people can communicate more freely, with harmony, and integrate spiritually through art. As today is Lisha, so I brought a present to you. That's wow! Good. Hope you will like it. That's lovely. Okay, this is for you. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Wow, it's egg. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Wow, it's really beautiful. It remind me of my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's like a bag, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a bag made of color thread, mm -hmm. and uh, each bag um, has an egg in it, mm -hmm. and uh, you could open your present now. Okay. okay. I love the color. Do you know what's the pattern? It's the. It's very Chinese. Yeah, very Chinese. It's the pattern. Yes. The, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a Chinese knot. Mm hmm. Yeah, the knot. Yeah. Actually, I have it here. Also. You have a Chinese knot here? Oh, I kind of like mm, it. Yeah, yeah, kind of similar. Yeah, because we want to um, send you the lucky list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, by this pattern. And do you like it? Yeah. I love the... Do you recognize I the pattern? I think it's the, the, the cat. cat. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. It's tiger. It's tiger. Tiger here. Tiger here. Yeah, yeah. yeah so because, cute. Yeah. Cute. Actually, Lisa is the seventh um, of the 24 solar terms, okay. uh, indicating the change of seasons mm -hmm. and the um, start of summer. When summer comes, the temperature rises gradually, and adults will think their kids will be easier to get mm -hmm. sick because oh. of their weather change. In the ancient times, um, their parents will give their children to have more eggs because they mm -hmm. think when the children eat more eggs at the start of summer, they will become healthier and stronger. Okay. Actually, uh, the children will wear mm -hmm. um, this we'll put one it like on this. their neck, okay. yeah, just like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite cute. This big, yeah, yeah, I love it. This big decoration. Like, uh, this is an egg necklace. What do you have? This is the mascot of Paralympic Games. I really like this cartoon. This cartoon mm -hmm. is my favorite cartoon. And I really like its name. Mm -hmm. It's called Xue Rong Rong. Mm -hmm. Xue means pureness and whiteness. Yes. And Rong Rong means mutual understanding and mutual learning between different cultures. I really like this name. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Thank you very much. The name Xue Rong Rong is the Chinese people's beautiful vision of creating a more inclusive and harmonious world. The Chinese word Yuan Rong is not only a cultural spirit, but also a way of dealing with the world. To live in harmony, to be kind to others, to understand and to be more inclusive to differences are things that we have been following for millennia. Actually, the painting of Asia could date back to as early as 2,000 years. Wow. Yeah, 
uh, it has a very long history. Yeah. And uh, people like to do the painting on eggshells every mm -hmm. Li Xia solitaire. Mm. Yeah, this also remind me of the painting in the cave of Dunhuang, you know, the wow. Mogao cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the, the painting um, showing different culture, different people from India or Greek. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in the north. Yeah, mm -hmm. of China. Mm -hmm. And was in Tang Dynasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, it's called Proskos. Mm -hmm. It's so impressive. Yes. Mm -hmm. It reminds me this. In Lixia, we play a small game okay. related to this egg. Would you like to have a try? Of course. Yes. As long as we are not we going to break it. Yeah. <laughs> who break it and who lose it? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's okay. see. Okay, let's see. Me and Vivian first. And we, we could only use the hat. The hat. Yeah, to okay. hit each other. Okay. Let's One, see. two, three, boom. Hey, wait, wait. Winner goes to. <laughs> I think we should hit harder. We should hit harder. We no, to... no, it's so beautiful. I don't want to break it. You can win. You can win. I don't want to. It's so you don't beautiful. Want to break it. Are you sure? Yes, you can win. Oh, really? Yes, you can win. I want oh. to keep it. Okay. Okay. Winner goes to Vivian. Winner goes to Vivian. Thank you. No, it's really beautiful. It's really a piece of art. Well, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that. No, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you could keep it as an artwork. Yes. I will yeah. hang it. You have a new connection now. <laughs> yeah. So these are the tea egg. Yeah, and mm. this is cha yan dan. Would mm. you like to have a try? Of course. Yes. Okay. You know that tasting eggs mm -hmm. really reminds me from... Mmm, it's good. So tea egg is very nice. I like it because it's, um, it's strong. Reminds me the strong will of the Chinese people. Wow. No, really. Chinese people uh, have been going through so many changes, mm -hmm. so many hardships, so many challenges, mm -hmm. and always succeeding. So this is like the uh, the tea egg because tea is very Chinese. Yeah. You know. Mm. Uh, you know we have a song when we are ch children about the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the first phrase is "Teve ores yesh besin," which means tea and rice you have in China. Mm. So for us also, tea is China. And egg tea, it's strong, it's powerful. Uh, the color is not white, it's mm -hmm. brown, no, mm -hmm. not, not to be ashamed. So I really love it. Thank you very much for offering it. Well, you have a good explanation for the tea eggs. Yeah. <laughs> we never think this <laughs> no, but far. What's more Chinese than tea? So for me also, personally, uh, eggs uh, really have a, a, a very big attachment to my childhood and to my traditions, my heritage. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that uh, this egg is here. So uh, if it is okay with you, I can, mm -hmm. uh, let's try to cook this dish. I will explain it to you later. Um, I will need your help because wow. it's a lot, a lot of uh, preparing mm -hmm. uh, and I hope you enjoy it. For sure. Uh, sure. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Before start cooking and before start eating, we have to have wine, some Israeli wine. Mm. Cooking is an art. Because when you cook when you're happy, the food for sure will be amazing. Wow. So for the beautiful food. For the beautiful champagne. <laughs> Cheers. Beautiful food. Champagne. Cheers. Cheers. Champagne. Mm. Mm. So I'm the big chef today. Wow. So first of all, we start <laughs> olive oil. Okay. A lot. And when you mix, you have something nice. Wow. It's like Chinese. You have chai, so many t types of, uh, of, uh, of uh, kitchen in mm -hmm. China. Yes. Cantonese, Sichuan, 
Yeah. Cantonese is the best, of course. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, I think so. <laughs> but of course, but when you mix everything, you have the Chinese cuisine. Yeah. yeah. That is the best in the world because it's so diverse. Yes. Yeah. Could you tell me what's the name of this dish? <laughs> okay. <laughs> shakshuka. 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 And shakshuka. Shakshuka. Ah. Which what's means the meaning? Uh. exactly. Uh. First of all, it's shak 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 because you mix. So it's shak 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 shak. That's that's the first meaning. Okay. Second meaning shuk in mm. Hebrew means market and it's a very street food. One who fails to taste roast duck hasn't been to Beijing, and one who fails to try shashuka hasn't been to Israel. When it comes to breakfast, Israelis will usually think of it, and it is sold in almost every cafe that serves breakfast. It is said that this Israeli tomato and stewed egg was invented by North African Jews, and is a classic Israeli dish. Why this shashuka make you so impressive? Because really, it reminds me childhood, and one of the smells that I recall from being a child mm -hmm. is the smell of this dish on a Saturday morning. So you can always recall your home memories. Yes, yeah, absolutely. When I go home, for sure, and my father asks me what to cook. Oh, really? Of course. Same. same. He's 70 something years old, but he will oh. do the same. Especially as a foreigner living in other countries. Mm -hmm. You need something to connect you. Oh, it also reminds me of a story. You know what? In the Tang and Song dynasties, yes. some Jews came to China to earn a living, to mm -hmm. change. And um, I remember in the Ming Dynasty, mm -hmm. there were more than 5,000 Jews living in China. Wow. They married in China, they had children in China. Absolutely. And what's more, they even uh, participated in their examination. Mm -hmm. So it seems that we have connections since ancient times. Absolutely. I think the Jews really have a very strong ability to adapt a new adapt. environment. I think that, uh, you know, both China and Israel are very uh, similar. We are young countries, mm -hmm. 1949, 1948. Mm -hmm. But our culture is very ancient. Yeah. 3,000, 5,000 years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of influ influence on both sides. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jewish, we were always traders. So really, since uh, uh, those dynasties, we, we came here. Mm -hmm. You can see in Kaipeng, uh, in Harabin, you have a lot of uh, uh, Jewish, and it was already all over Eastern. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in the Second World War, mm -hmm. uh, thousands of Jews were saved from the Nazis mm -hmm. from the war in Shanghai. Yes. They came to Shanghai, to Harabin, mm -hmm. and we were rescued, and we will never forget that. It's an owe that the Jewish people owe to the Chinese people. Yeah, we have a long friendship. Absolutely, yeah. You know what, when I think about Jews, mm -hmm. I would think about one word, mm -hmm. outstanding. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, for the humanity, for the mm -hmm. development of their humankind, because like, uh, as far as I know, more than 40% of Nobel Prize winners are Jews. If you use one word to describe China, what word will you choose? Hmm. One word. One word, yeah. Or Chinese people. The same says the future. Because I really think uh, that in China, mm -hmm. and even specifically here in the GBA area, mm -hmm. the Great Bay area, is the future of, of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have so much things going on here, mm -hmm. and I cannot see a future without China being very important there. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I look around, I, of course, past, but also future. I came to here, and in three years, Guangzhou and China changed so much. Mm -hmm. 
So I think about future. Have you ever get tired of these days because you have eaten it so many times? No. So it makes me it makes me happy when I eat it. But it makes me connected to my heritage, to mm -hmm. my family in a way. Now the shakshuka is a very popular uh, food also in Israel. So uh, also when I was in the army, I was five years in the army, mm -hmm. I used to eat it a lot. Home, you know, for each one of us means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's not only the building, mm -hmm. it's love, it's smell, mm -hmm. it's color, mm -hmm. uh, it's taste. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is home. So these windows, are my house, mm -hmm. actually. Which one? Uh, this is the bedroom, this is uh, another bedroom, <laughs> this, this is the toilet. You can see your home I in can, your Chinese house. For me, it's so, it's so nice to have like a piece of my house, really, mm -hmm. here in China. Mm -hmm. So again, we eat the shakshuka, I stare at this, uh, at this painting and I feel at home. This painting shows Pele's home in Israel. Whenever he went to serve, this painting was always with him. This is a kind of family attachment, just like Chinese people all over the world, who take some of the most precious things of their families with them. But it is even more of a national cultural and spiritual legacy. Just like the story carried by this ordinary traditional Israeli breakfast, which runs through the growth and life of every Israeli. So this is the result. We have all the vegetables cooked up, uh, the egg with the eye looking at us. And basically, um, we eat it with some bread. Okay. So. Uh, Bon appetit. Uh -huh. Enjoy. Oh, this dish can be used as sauce. Mm, it's very good. Oh, it's very good. Very fresh. I think this shashuka looks just like an hour. Mm. And because it has various varieties, and it's just like the beautiful flower on the table. Yeah. Mm. So the flowers, um, yeah, it's actually wings. A preparation that it was this gift for me. Uh -huh. uh, wings um, uh, he's a florist or he's a flower artist in a way. You know? I remember Pelic tell me back home when they uh, welcome guests, they always want to put flower at home. Wow. Uh, that's why we um, go to the market together and buy the fresh flower from the local mm -hmm. market and yeah. make a arrangement for the guest, Vivian. Thank you so much. I really enjoy looking at this flower because the design is so special. I was really curious about the friendship. How would you build your friendship? We met, I think, in a, in a reception. Yeah, um, a friend's uh, reception, uh -huh. first met, and then we started to talk about, you know, the art, flowers, gardening, which we love, mm -hmm. and then make us uh, close friend and good friend and I really appreciate this friendship. I'm Chinese, local Cantonese, he's Jewish. If I remember uh, 2020, mm -hmm. um, January is the outbreak of COVID and it was happening in China. And so many places in Guangzhou was locked down mm -hmm. and then Pelic contacted me saying, oh, Wing, are you okay? Do you need some help? Uh, are you in lack of masks? At that time, you know, we are one now of mask. Actually, this question should be asked by you. You should say, hey, <laughs> what do you need? What can I do for you? A lot of, Ch a lot of Chinese friends really contact us because, uh -huh. you know, but uh, we were very lucky that uh, we had some uh, in the storage. So we were lucky that we were able to help a lot. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks, two months later, a lot, a lot of Chinese helped Israel when Israel was in need. Although Pelik and Wayne bonded over art, the real achievement of this friendship is the helping hand in difficult times, as well as in history. Gaishi? Sure. Ten. Oh, they're nice. 
With this simple but precious greeting and concern, this friendship has a new hope and beginning. A friendly is a friendly. Exactly, exactly. And last but not the least, actually, I have to prepare another gift for you. Oh. How many eggs do you bring, Vivian? <laughs> okay, this is the nut piece. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I think this is um, the most important present for you today. And you can open this. Thank you very much. Oh, ah, it's the, so cool. Thank you so much. Look. Chinese, Chinese and, Israel. and Israeli flag. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By Trina. So this really, it's the second already for my collection. Oh, really? <laughs> Lisha signifies the beginning of summer. After the brewing and nourishment of spring, everything will grow vigorously. just like the flags waving on this elegant egg. It signifies the friendship between the two countries will continue to grow warmly and burst into vitality, just as the Lisha eggs breed a bright future. As always, China is a peace-loving country working with people for good intentions and making progress through mutual assistance in its continuous quest for development. <laughs>